Well, madam, there are those who also feel that uh, perhaps this action of Ghana is not unconnected with um, the closure of Nigeria's borders. Some diplomats say that and some other people are permutating. Well, the facts are not there, but what's your own take? You see, you can't come, you can't, uh, they're not the same thing, actually. They're not the same thing. There's a reason why borders were closed, and that has been explained again and again, even to the echoers. You can't be bringing in small arms and ammunition and all that, and Nigeria will not take action. So there are two different things, actually. We're talking of people that have been living in your country, working very, very well for the la for years. Now, I'll ask you something, if it has to do with the borders. Why did they send away the big industries in Ghana? We have six banks in Ghana. Six Nigerian banks are in Ghana. Why didn't they tell them to leave? If, if you're afraid of border, if, if it's because of border closure. There's the gas pipeline going to Ghana. Why didn't you cut it off? So this is targeted. And I think it, it boils down to this lack of trust and some kind of complex. Because you see, these Nigerian traders, you know, sell their goods at cheaper prices. You know, Nigerians are very industrious. So it's about this complex. The reality is that the Ghanaian traders say, well, it's difficult to compete with the Nigerian traders. And they put in $1 billion to make it almost impossible for traders to... So let's just leave, leave the issue about border closure. It did happen because of border closure. This thing has been on for years. In New York, three years ago, Mr. President took it up with the Ghanaian president. And he gave an assurance that Mr. President was sorry about that. We will open the shops. Then they open and close again, open and close again to the whims and campuses. I'm sure you agree with me that we can't continue like that. And as the chairman of um, NAN said, ECOWAS really is something they should look into. But having said that, let's listen to their request. Let's have the three minister ministries involved come up with the best ways forward. But I'm still optimistic that these issues will be resolved. Because somebody said to me, okay, so what if they now come back that way? What next? So this is not a period where we should be fighting each other as African brothers and sisters. It's really very, very uncomfortable and actually very, very bad for particularly the West African continent. So I don't agree to the excuse of, oh, it's because of border pressure. It's been happening for years. It didn't start last year. It didn't start two years ago. It's been there persistently. Okay. They use these traders as pawns. Okay.